I'm Mark Jackson, and I am directing the production of Metamorphosis at the Aurora Theater. And then have the major movement with your newspaper hat. My name is Megan Trout, and I'm playing the role of Greta Samsa. My name is Alex Crowther, and I will be playing Gregor Samsa, or the bug. Metamorphosis is about a young man who wakes up one morning to find he has been transformed into a bug. <laughs> What's with the bug? Well... In a way, you could describe the play in two ways. You could say, it's a play about a guy who wakes up in the morning and finds he's a bug. How horrible. Oh my god! Or you could say, it's a play about a guy who wakes up in the morning and finds he's a bug. The comedy writes itself. And both, situ both descriptions are true. I will not be in green makeup or a big prosthetic bug suit. It's a metaphor. It could be something else. It could be some terrible disease he has. It could be a sickness comes across or someone becomes disabled. The bug is uh, sort of this catch-all umbrella for any sort of abnormality that a family might find unacceptable in, in one of their family members. He could be your gay kid, he could be your Jewish kid, your atheist kid, your communist kid. How does a family deal with that? Let's uh, sit this way so we don't have to have him in our eye It seems to me like there are a couple transformations that happen. <laughs> the most obvious transformation in the play is that of the young man who wakes up and finds that he's been transformed into a bug. Uh, the other significant transformation in the play is that of his sister, who transforms from a young girl to a young woman. It's a coming-of-age story. But in a way, I think, is actually more uh, harrowing. You haven't either of you looked at him since it all began! The way we're doing this is that it's going to be set in the 1950s. Kafka wrote his short story in 1915, and the stage adaptation that we're using was written in 2005 by and for an Icelandic theater company named Vestaport, and they chose to set it in middle Europe in the early 30s when Nazi fascism was on the rise. But when I was reading it, the, the exchanges between the characters and the situations and how they were responding to them felt very much to me like America in the 1950s. A very strong theme from that time and in our play now um, is this obsession with appearances and not talking about what is wrong. Uh, we have no time for this mockery. We have to discuss our financial position. Yes, let's discuss money. It'll take my mind off everything. So another idea is, um, you know, the 1950s horror films where a gigantic bug like attacks a supermarket or, or a mall or, or a whole city. In one moment the play is horrifying and very dramatic, and the next moment the play is hysterically funny. Metamorphosis is a very, very funny show, um, uh, but it's also very human and serious. Those two opposites, in a way, bring out the, 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 the textures of the characters and, and, and the complexity of their, um, the situation that they find themselves in. Metamorphosis is, it's true and it's false. Terrifying. Very human. Enough, and it's very inhuman. Surprising. If, if somebody is interested in seeing a, a piece of theater that can only happen in the theater, that can't happen just as well on some screen, then they should come see Metamorphosis at the Aurora Theater.